Welcome everybody to MetaSug for a Behind the Art. Uh, today we have a very talented artist here, Vanessa Pagano. Vanessa, really appreciate you jumping on the call today. Thank you that I can be here. So just to jump right into it, um, you know, looking at your your work, I mean, uh, it's it's amazing. Um, you know, it seems like you have a lot of versatility, you know, looking across from crypto fooders to snowcat to some of the recent work that you did with uh, the Ukraine flag. Um, just curious to understand kind of where do you seek your inspiration and how do you kind of come up with what you want to work on? I mean, um, it really depends. Sometimes I have something uh, like, like a flash and um, I have a clear vision in my mind. And sometimes I just go deep inside my soul and I just create what I feel. But I'm also inspired by music and other artists. So. And I guess looking across all of your pieces, which one would you say you're uh, you're most proud of? To be honest, I'm proud of every single piece I made because I learned from everyone and I would not be here if I didn't uh, go through every uh, single one that I that I made. But if I have to choose one, I would say my number one is still my first NFT Rotten Insights because this piece is not just about oh it's so beautiful or it's so cool but it shows something about um, my soul and that's what art is to me not only to feed the the eyes of the people with beautiful stuff but to show my soul and my deepest secrets i mean looking at that that piece that you've that you created and, and all of your other pieces so i guess curious to know because I think everybody's answer is different. Is like, what's your setup? What do you use to to create this stuff? Actually, I work with Blender, okay. Dash, and um, at the moment, I'm learning Marvelous Designer for Close. Is there like is there any plugins that you use, like X Particles or anything? Like, is there a particular plugin that that you really like, or like that's your go-to? Not really, but um, I'm really into hair simulations and yes, particles, but um, yeah, not really a plugin. So kind of moving outside of the art world. So outside of, you know, the things that you've created here, um, what else do you do outside of out of this work? Yeah, I'm um, an economic student, but almost done. And I have a full time job in marketing, operational marketing. Yeah, don't ask me how I have time to work also in 3D because I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it That's seems like you, you got a lot on your plate there. What's the best advice you've ever received? Um, the best advice. I think um, to never give up, work hard and yeah, believe in yourself. What's the what's the worst advice you've ever received? The worst one is definitely the the one that um, you can only achieve something through uh, perfection. Because yeah, somehow it's true you need high skills. But if you don't touch people with uh, the things you do, it can be perfect, but no one will care. And uh, perfection is so relative. So there is absolutely no pressure to be perfect because if you work hard, your skills will improve. And uh, I think I already know the answer to this one, but who is the one artist that you think we should we should interview next? Clearly Ness 100 Pro. Okay. He's just an amazing artist, so talented, and his work ethic is just crazy. And uh, when I think back nine months ago, when I started with Blender and 3D art, he always believed in me and he supported me and he's just amazing. Ness, you're up next. Um, <laughs> and awesome. And just to, to wrap it all up, tell us what you're working on. You know, is there anything kind of that you have in development right now? Where can people find you and find your work? My portfolio is my Instagram. So Vanessa Pagano underline underline. But I'm also active on Twitter and um, at the moment, I work on different projects, but if I have to mention one, I would like to mention uh, Rona's Hand Season 2. And the leader of this project is Ness. And um, I create one hand with my own, own touch. And yeah. 
Well, again, I really appreciate you jumping on a call and, and going through these.